Today we're going to learn how to install a switch interface with the iPad. The interface we're using today is the Hook Plus by AbleNet. Um, it has four different inputs, so you can use four different switches with this. Uh, one of the benefits of the Hook Plus is that it's plug and play, meaning you don't have to turn on Bluetooth or anything, or excuse me, um, yeah, Bluetooth or anything like that. You just uh, put it into the flash port and you're good to go. Uh, you do have to set up the switches though, and we're going to talk about how to do that in a second. All right, so you can see here that I've plugged in four different switches into the Hook Plus. Um, on the back, I showed you how there are four different um, switch labels on the back of the Hook Plus. What I did is took a dry erase marker and wrote uh, in dry erase um, which switch is hooked up to which which interface so that we don't lose track of them. All right, so once you have that, all you have to do is just plug this into the flash port um, or the charge port, whatever you call it, on the iPad, and we're ready to actually go in and uh, set this up. All right, now that your Hook Plus is plugged into the iPad and all the switches are plugged into the Hook Plus, we can go ahead and set up the switches. So what you wanna do is go to settings, then accessibility right here in the middle, and finally switch control. Now this is where you'll find all the different interaction way methods that you can use with iOS. Um, what we're gonna do first before getting into any of this in another video is hook up our switches. So we'll find switches right here and we want to add a new switch. So it's an external switch. Now we'll go ahead and press the one switch, the one, the, one we, the one that we labeled one, all right? There is a quant conflict, so let's go check that out. Okay, we'll go back to our switches and we can see here that as soon as we plugged it in, um, it went ahead and found uh, something to attach to, meaning that these switches are already uh, set up to be used by iOS. But we don't want that. We're not gonna use the iOS uh, interaction uh, methods. So we're gonna go to edit and just delete all three of these. All right, and then click done. So now we're gonna try that again, add new switch, external, press the one button, and you can see that we can go ahead and label it hook one. So this is choosing the action. Uh, this doesn't really matter that much because it's what iOS uses to interact with uh, the operating system. So like going between apps or hitting the home button or uh, switching apps or all sorts of things. We don't really care about that because we're gonna set up our switches in a way that allows us to use them however we want for apps that aren't designed for switch use. So let's just go ahead and say select item for the first switch. And we'll go ahead and do the same thing for the next switch. So switch number two, we go ahead and press it. Hook two. Again, it can be anything we want. External. Go ahead and find switch three. Three. Let's just say tap. And then hook switch four. switcher all right so there we have hook one through four all four of our switches are set up so that we can use them any way we want with recipes um, you can see right here all the different kinds of recipes you can make um, and when we create new recipes we'll have to assign a switch and we can use any one of those um, so that's all for now you can go ahead and try it on your own and see me in another video to figure out how to adapt games that are not made for switches into switch accessible games see you soon